Jared Kushner's once again found himself back in the headlines and as usual, it's for all of the wrong reasons. This time it's because reports are telling us that Jared Kushner is actually the person inside the White House trying to convince Donald Trump to believe Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's story that they absolutely did not kill a U.S. permanent resident and journalist, Jamal Khashoggi. Jared Kushner is the person in the White House telling Trump and the rest of this administration basically to look the other way as this journalist was murdered, to not ask questions and to go easy on Saudi Arabia because as Kushner points out, this is eventually going to blow over like so many other things in this country blow over. There's always that next outrage right around the corner and everybody's going to forget about this one. Um, according to reports, Kushner actually talked about the fact that, Hey, yeah, I mean, remember a few months ago when Saudi Arabia killed 40 children on a school bus coming back from a field trip and everybody was outraged and then everybody forgot. Yeah. It's going to be the same thing with this dead journalist that was ripped to pieces with a bone saw. That's what Jared Kushner is advising the president right now. And to be honest, in most instances, Kushner would actually be right here. You know, we do have an attention span as a public of that of about the uh, lifetime of a house fly at this point. But this is such a serious issue. And it's raised other serious questions about the Trump family's uh, financial ties to Saudi Arabia, the $100 million payment that came to the United States from Saudi Arabia the day this guy disappeared, uh, the day Pompeo landed in Saudi Arabia, a $100 million payment came from them to the United States. Yeah, something's going on here. And Jared Kushner right now is neck deep in this cover up. We've also learned this week that Jared Kushner has been privately messaging Saudi crown prince Mohammed through the uh, private messaging app, WhatsApp, which coincidentally is actually banned in Saudi Arabia. Yet that hasn't stopped the crown prince from using that app to privately message with Jared Kushner. We need a massive investigation here, not just into the death of the journalist. And I'm afraid that's an investigation we're never actually going to get, but we need investigations into Jared Kushner immediately. We know, you know, based on all of the evidence, all of the reports that have come out over the last two years, that Jared Kushner has been unusually close to the Saudi Royal family and other members of the Saudi Arabian government. It is likely based on reports that have come in that the Saudis actually played more of a role in getting Donald Trump elected than any other country. We know that Robert Mueller has a little bit of information on that. Maybe it was enough to go on. Maybe it wasn't, but Jared Kushner is at the dead center of all of this. He is covering something up and hopefully one of these investigations happening now, or maybe one that happens in the very near future is going to uncover all of the dirty deeds about Jared Kushner. And we're going to find out exactly what this little weaselly character actually knew and how he helped this administration and the Saudi Royal family cover it up.